light, green light, red light, green light. Today we're going on an adventure. This went from Two's vlog to Animal Planet. Whoa, whoa, I got a web on me. See that? Grand lives, that's what's important. Yo, these bugs are crazy big. You see that? Hey, yo, it don't look like poop, do it? And this is how we start off today's vlog. Vlog number 210. What do you know about that, mate? Out here on a little penny board. Skating around on a Sunday morning. Out here. Yeah, I'm out here. Yeah, I'm out here. Say no to the McCafe. <laughs> I'm out. Oh, wow. Good cardio for the morning, right? Right, 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 right. Uh, what a lot. What a lot. I'm one up on one way. DUI. I'm driving dirty. I got a cat in my in my back pocket. And I'm wearing ball shorts. <laughs> Ain't got a back pocket, fool. Yo, why they washing cars in my wheelie lot, man? <laughs> Say no. Ah, Y'all wanna see me wheelie this? This little skateboard? No, let me stop front. I can't wheelie this, you know? Yo, oh, yeah, stop playing your music. You don't mess up my monetization right, dog. After you pedal this, you know, you be burnt. <laughs> you like, one, two, three, four, five, six, ah! And now I'm out. I get a couple, couple what, yardage of rolling? Why ain't y'all out here right now? Why ain't you out here right now? Explain that. Comment below, why ain't you out here? What you doing 9 a.m. on a Sunday morning? They're like, I'm sleeping, dude, I'm sleeping. Stop peeking! Red light, red light, red light, red light. Red light! Green light, green light, red light, green light. Green light, red light. Listen, man, enough with all the two-stroke nonsense. No, seriously, though. Enough with messing with the little vehicles for this weekend. <laughs> trying to live a little you feel me a little longer than a few minutes later she'll be coming around the mountain here she comes <laughs> she'll be coming around the mountain here she comes <laughs> she'll be coming around the mountain she better bring a million cash because i am gonna bust that woo, woo. Say no. <laughs> yo yo that's a classic honda son that's like a 1973 civic that they had in that john yo so no, it wasn't a 73. What was the first Civic? It was like a 76 CVC three cylinder or something. I don't know, I thought. What the heck? Hey, I'm in my natural environment. What's up guys? Listen, today we're going on an adventure. We're going on a journey. We're in the woods. We're in the wilderness. I don't know where I'm going. Where am I? Where am I? No, seriously though. I don't know where I'm going. But we are headed to a to an abandoned slash haunted slash I don't know cave and a cultist used to use this cave so he could meditate I'll tell you more about it while we're on the way let's go All right, so I said this guy was an occultist, but he wasn't necessarily just an occultist. He was actually a musician, an artist, a person who studied botany, or botany, which is the study of plants. He liked the stars, he used to study the skies. Um, the most intriguing thing I found out about this dude is that he started his own occult, and he started it at the age of 26. He's really from Transylvania. And he wanted a place where he was able to meditate and focus um, that was away from everybody hence the location of this cave that we're headed to yeah so he wanted a spot that was you know easy for him to meditate and focus and get his thoughts in line you could consider them like monks look at this let me see if i can give y'all the exclusive y'all see that shot right this went from two's vlog to animal planet you see him right wake up wake up i'm in your crib dog Listen, all I'm saying is that this cave better be worth it. This joint better be like MTV Cribs big. Like, seriously. This joint should be, yo. I wanna see his his his, his balcony. I wanna see his whole little gym room, his gymnasium. I wanna see his whole pool room, his game room. Everything. I wanna see everything my man was working with when he should come out here in the retreat. We going on a mission to get here. Hey, yo, I think I just found Johanna Kelpius' glasses, yo. Back from like 17. 31 yo maybe he's close by yo that'd be crazy hey yo kelpius i found your shades dog i'm sorry man you had nice taste you had the panama jack johns <laughs> <laughs> oh 
homeboy made this cave back here in like 1694 1694 what are we in we in 2018 yo we need to find some treasure man what a treasure at what a treasure what a pirates of the caribbean i'm the pirate of the hood yo look at this crazy slant yo like what is this like some type of some type of mountain valley thing cliff cliffhanger mission impossible <sighs> some giant spiders down here start jumping out it's like eight legged freaks Wow, look at that little river stream. Wow, look at this. It's like a little, little tiny little river drawing. See it? Not a river drawing. That's hard, but that's just a stream, right? I said a river. I swore that was a rat. I was like, yo, that's a rat, bro. It was a bird. Cause what bird you know comes jumping from like the little the bird like hopped through this drawing. I'm like, yo, that drawing was a rat. And then he flew away. <laughs> Look at right there, there's a bird right there. You see him? He hopping around, he's just hopping on stuff. Y'all don't see him? It's like a kangaroo bird. Let me see if I can zoom into him. Call it the kangaroo bird. Toon just classified his own bird in the kelpiest environment of the, I'm gonna call that the kelpiest, tuniest, birdiest, thingiest, ugliest name ever. <laughs> Google map, like how much time do we have left? Five minutes on this trail. I found an animal, a black squirrel with a, Yo, this gangsta found a black squirrel. Y'all see him? He got like an apple in his mouth. I've never seen a black squirrel, bro. That's a black squirrel. That's so tough. And my man had like an apple, yo. That was the toughest experience ever. Yo, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Oh, you look cool. There you go. Wow, a black squirrel. Comment below if you've ever seen a black squirrel. I've seen like a beige squirrel, a blonde squirrel, plenty of brown squirrels, plenty of gray squirrels. But a black squirrel? Let me get a better shot of him. Oh, y'all seen him, right? Y'all seen him? Y'all seen him right there? That's dope. I'm gonna let him be. He got nice hair. He got a nice ponytail like me. He probably got his wife to straighten his ponytail. Kelpie is cave. Come out, come out, come out, wherever you are. First thing I'm doing when I get next to this cave is saying, open sesame. Because that always works in movies. When you're next to a cave, they open sesame and then it, something just opens up and rah, Indiana Jones comes rolling out with a gigantic boulder. The way this web is made, this web is so intricate. It's kind of like a spear. Oh snap, I think I'm, I'm interrupting their whole little ecosystem. It looks crazy though, that's all I want to say. That looks crazy. All right, guys, so I'm starting to see more and more spiders just hanging everywhere. Like, I don't know. This environment is probably heavily filled with spiders. Yo, if you're an arachnophobe, arachnophobia person with strong fears of spiders, yeah, this might not be the little trip for you. Whoa, I got a web on me. Oh, snap. Yo, there's spiders everywhere. Like, you look up and you see, like, nests. Like, I gotta, like, start, like, swinging like this just to make sure I'm not walking through nothing crazy, right? Don't you hate that when you walk through, like, a whole web and it gets stuck in your face? <laughs> Yo, my man better not have no spiders in his cave, dog. Bet you he got spiders all up in that, man. Oh, they already getting their shots. Let them get their shots. Let them get their exclusive shots. Exclusiveness. They're over here shooting cinema. Dun, dun, dun. We messing up your shot, guys. Hey, you're fine, dude. I don't want to get in your shot. Are you doing photography or a video? A video, but if you're, if you're doing whatever, you're good. Just, just want to take a quick look. Okay, cool. Wow. Wow, people. Check this out. Now, this is what I mean by cultists. You see my man's stone right here, right? You see a stone? Look at that. Check that out. Johannes Kelpius, PhD, while wow, he was a doctor. After death, 1673 to 1708, the contented of the God-loving soul, minister of the first Rosicrucian. See, that was his religion. 
Rosicrucian, Amork or Amork colony in America, which arrived in Philadelphia June 24, 1694, then known as the Monks of the Ridge, Fra Kelpius, used this cave as a shelter and as a sanctum for his meditations, lovingly erected to his memory by the Grand Lodge Rosicrucian. So you see that? Grand Lodge, that's what's important. AD 1961 in cooperation what in cooperation with the Supreme Grand Lodge a mark and you see the symbolism right see that symbolism right you see that crazy that's what going oh sorry. oh sorry well let's check this out let's check this out there ain't no spiders we're gonna take all the spiders from <laughs> yo turn the ISO I'm gonna turn up this ISO that's why we got a Sony for it oh snap and then I got a little flashlight yo I don't know no spiders in this gym. Wow. Yo, that's a gigantic spider, bro. Yo, look at all them bugs, bro. Yo, them, yo, them bugs is huge. Yo, them jaws is like four inches big. <laughs> look at that bug. That bug big as shit. That jaw like three inches big. They're like, yo, check, check out the ball. Yo, these bugs are crazy big. You see that? I gotta give y'all one little pass. I can't fraud just because of the bugs. There's a lot of bugs on the ceiling. Oh, Jesus. Big ones, like two, three inches big. Whoa. I've never seen bugs that big before, really. Oh my God, <laughs> Wow, looks interesting. Looks like cobblestone. Wow, it's hot in here. It got like a damp hu humidity. Listen, let me put this in scale for y'all. There was bugs like this big, yo. Like this big. Y'all don't even see the goosebumps on my arm. There was bugs like this big on the ceiling, dog. Not one, but that joint was flooded with them, yo. Alright, guys, so we're gonna take one last look at the cave before we step out. It's so dark in here that the Sony ain't doing nothing. Yo, bro, them bugs. <laughs> Yo! Why them bugs growling at me? I heard the bug growling at me. Yo, look at the ground right there. Somebody was trying to dig out. Somebody was trying to get out. You think my boy Kelpius was trying to escape? What's this? Somebody burned a book? What kind of book is that? Yo, this is crazy, y'all. I just wanted to give y'all one last look. Let me get out here for them bugs. Yo, them bugs are hidden in all the holes. You see the Oh, snap! I'm out. That y'all look like a frog bug. <laughs> My bad, y'all. I couldn't even give y'all a real dope, super dope exclusive tour. Because as y'all saw, we had company. There was two people taking some landscaping photography. And then there was also two females that they didn't seem to be of American descent. They sound like they were from another country. But they were also checking it out. And those bugs... Those bugs caught my attention big time. They were like weird. And the last one I looked at before I left, he like I said, they were like this big and they were hiding in the cracks, right? But they had like frog legs. Like the design on his leg looked kind of like a cheetah. That was crazy, bro. That means at night, they probably all come out from that cave and just be running through this jaw. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> Small but cool. It was a ripoff though. John, little as ever. Thought my man was gonna have a yacht connected to that John. I was waiting to check out his bowling alley. And now time for our commercial break. <sighs> Tired of the wilderness. The heat got you down. It's cool. Mother Nature's gonna be kind to you. Check it out. Nuts and spices, gluten free. Oh my Jesus. Dark chocolate, mocha almond. We found these in a the cave. Yo, low key, we found these in a the cave and I forgot to tell y'all about them. Yo. Here you go, Miss GPS Operator, Spare Camera Woman. <laughs> Check it out. I've never, ever tried one of these before. Never. Word up the Mom Dukes. Miss Camera Operator Lady, excuse me, ma'am, can you please hold this? Hold this, please. Okay, open this up. Ah, now I'll go back into vlog style. Thank you. <laughs> Check this out, I'm putting the sun so y'all can see this. What does this have in it? I don't even know, I should have read it before I gave it to y'all, right? Yeah, check this out. Oh man, the sun's gonna melt it. 
It says gluten free. I'm gonna read the ingredients real quick. It says gluten free ingredients you can see and pronounce. Oh snap! I like that. I like stuff I can pronounce. <laughs> Low glut. Yo, I can't pronounce that word. What's up with that? Say no. Low glycemic index, no sugar alcohols, no genetic engineered ingredients. That's what's up, Vato. Gluten free, um, et cetera, et cetera. Very low sodium, zero trans fat, um, high in fiber. That's dope. That means you're going to be taking a dump for a week. Dairy free. Dairy free. Oh, man. This is a vegan friendly candy bar. You ready to try? You ready to try? You want to take a bite at the same time? Twinsies, twinsies, you ready to take a bite at the same time? Hurry up, hurry up. Hello. We gotta take a bite at the same time. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get it together, get it together. Do, do, do. Check out that bouquet. Y'all see that, y'all see that, right? Bouquet of a of a kind bar. Brought to you by the iPhone 7 Plus. Yo, somebody send me a new phone. <laughs> send me a new phone. Send me a good phone. You ready? You ready? Three. You yo, you ready to take a bite? Oh, I'm about to say, look it, cause don't it look like she didn't take a bite out of her job? Like, yo, she cheated. You ready? This y'all melted, man. I hate melted chocolate. Three, two, one, go. Hey yo, it don't look like poop, don't it? <laughs> it look like poop, yo. All right. First things first. This kind bar isn't so kind in my teeth. It's just hard. A lot of peanuts or almonds or whatever. All right, so. It tastes extra, extra chocolatey. Extra crunchy. I need some water. This is definitely not what you want to be eating when you come out of a little hiking trail sweating. I need a bottle of water, not this stuff. I mean, flavor-wise, it's a high. I mean, I don't really have no flavor. I don't really taste much. I taste a little bit of chocolate. I taste a little bit of nuts, but like, it's not like anything like addictive. It's not like an addicting taste. Like, oh man, I need yum, yum, yum. Like, I think I can put this on down right now. I need some water. <laughs> but I'm gonna eat it. Ew, you see how nasty and melted it? I hate melted chocolate, you know? Should've put these joints in the freezer first. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Tell me. I like it. Good. But like, describe it. What do you mean you like it? What yeah, do you like almonds. about it? Almonds. I love almonds. I like um, chocolate. You love almonds. You like chocolate. What else? Describe the flavor. What type of flavor does it have? This is as plain as ever to me. It just tastes like nuts. That's all I taste is nuts. I don't even taste the chocolate. It tastes super duper plain, you know? It's melted. Melted. I know. I hate that, John. Like, all right, guys, so the verdict is it's a healthy bar, but not when you come out of a trail, yo, when you hike and all that. <laughs> I need a kind bottle of water right now. Yo, kind, y'all saw some water mail it to me. Listen, it's good. It's not that bad. It's not horrible. You can see I'm almost done. What do you call those little dudes? The elf things that be in the woods. Gnomes, there you go. Gnomes going to jump out. Try to karate chop me.